Good afternoon again, Texas Corbin, we're at Lake Shabona. I wanna teach you fellas at home how to catch a striped bass at Lake Shabona. I don't know if you've heard the term of matching the hatch, but it's a common term people use in fishing to use whatever bait might be representing the, the forage fish of the, the body of water that you are fishing in. And today we're using this chunk of meat. Now to explain why, there are chunks of meat basically floating all over this damn lake. Uh, stripers just eat them up. No weight, nothing fancy. You're just gonna throw it out there, you're gonna let it sit for a minute. What you're gonna do is you're gonna pay attention to your, your line, all right? Your line is going to sit in the water because uh, that's where you threw the bait, the chunk of meat, and it's just gonna kind of float and suspend out there. Now, the, the chunks of meat out here in the water are, are live, obviously. They're, they're, they're an organic species that floats around in the water and they can swim. So the, the stripers, they wanna see that bait moving. So you have to like, you gotta keep jigging it a little bit. It's like, it's almost like you're jigging for walleye or uh, maybe fishing a flipsy rig, tube jig through some weeds, you know, weedless Texas, uh, flip them style, flipping them out, like flipping bass out of lily pads and grass and uh, you know, that shallow game. But, oh, oh, see, now, to, he, he just ate me off. But that, that, that just does, prove the point and that's mm. that's the uh the guts of the the species that i was using as bait uh that's that's the guts and other innards and fat um on there so i'm i'm, I'm gonna give this another go you know, it can go on there any style you just gotta kind of try to hide the hook the stripers they see the hook uh they they don't like it the the ones that are floating out there naturally in their habitat don't have hooks in them so so i'm not i'm not hooking it i'm not uh fancy electronics i'm not live scoping i'm not uh doing nothing i'm just using pure uh dumb luck and superstition experience uh, a little more dumb luck some regular luck some knowledge knowledge wisdom courage of course power know-how know-how for sure pappy pappy's old wisdom he, he used to tell us all sorts of stuff tricks fishing out here nobody knows how to fish out here bunch of damn idiots i swear to god the chunks of meat they, they kind of go like this they, they go through the water like this so you kind of have to like do that while you're usually i'll just kind of sloppily like give her a reel like that let it sit give her a reel let it sit i'm looking at the line i'm not going off a of feel nothing like that i'm looking at the line that's on my that's on my rod and my reel through the eyelets of the the fishing rod and just like that, eventually that line's gonna pick up and go straight. You gotta set the hook as quick as you can when that happens. This is not clean fishing as you can see. Our boat is just an absolute mess. Looks like I butchered a hog back here. You cast her out and then I like to just do this here. Just like that. Okay, let her sit. Just like, oh, oh. There we go. Oh, oh, that feels like a chunker. Feels like a chunker on there. Easy as that, really. It really is. Mm. Easy as that. They just see that meat mm. swimming through the water. Demonstrate that chunk of meat. They sit in the water like this, or like this. Sometimes they'll face straight up, but like you're jiggling it like that, and you go, whoosh, whoosh, and they'll grab it slams it but they're finicky too that guy did pretty good but there he goes 